if you only knew the power of the dark side. Like two or three days ago, I was in the mid 70s here. It was absolutely beautiful, and today's in the 30s, and I'm freezing my butt off. I have the garage door taped shut, but my wife um, accidentally op she opened the door and tried to knock on the wall to get my attention while the CNC was running, and she accidentally knocked into the garage door opener. So it opened it up, all my tapes gone and messed up, so I figured I might as well just open it up anyway. And wow, it's like not a cloud in the sky. It is so bright out here. <sighs> You guys see my Millennium Falcon cut out? I don't know if it's gonna, it's probably not gonna show up right now because it's so bright outside. But uh, yeah, there's no such thing as a scrap piece of plywood in my shop anymore. Every single scrap piece of plywood has the potential to become wall art. This is Millennium freaking Falcon here. And um, I'm just gonna put a, a little sawtooth hanger on the back to hang it up as a picture and just slap it on my wall like that. I'm not even gonna bother cutting it out. This is a, this is a collector's item. Millennium freaking Falcon, you kidding me? I'm having way, way too much fun with this whole CNC thing. The, the possibilities are obviously endless, and you can use it for just goofing off like I am, or actually manufacturing stuff, so... That's, uh, probably one of the more exciting, I don't know, tool things in my shop in a long, long time. Of course, I didn't pay for it, they sent it to me, blah, blah, blah. But, um... <laughs> yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with that. Maybe t maybe a little bit too much fun. So is anybody watching this going to WIA in September? I know it's quite a ways off, but uh, in September, Kansas City, Missouri, not Kansas City, Kansas, but Kansas City, Missouri is where this year's Woodworking in America conference is going to be. And I have every intentions of going. Unless something crazy happens last minute, I will be there. And a bunch of other YouTube woodworkers are getting together, myself included, and getting a booth at WIA in the the showroom, the marketplace, whatever it's called. Not the classes, obviously. This is the first time I've gone, so I don't really know much about it. But um, we're going to get a booth together. Um, someone's going to bring a guitar. We're going to sing Kumbaya. There's going to be some marshmallows. And we're having a nice little fire in the middle of the place. I'm just kidding. We're not going to do all that. But we will be there. And hopefully it's going to be a good time to meet and greet and meet all of you guys, whoever's going, and um, all that good stuff. So not much of a handshaker, you know, that's kind of not really, my, I'm more of like a, you know, fist bump, you know, what's up, fist bump, not really much of a, you know, touch palms together and can't, not really what I do. But, you know, just knuckles, that'd, that'd be great. You want to stop by and say, hey, I'll be there. All right, so I've got a lot of stuff in the mail this past week, most of it being stickers, and I appreciate each and every one of you who sent me something that's very cool, and I, I'm poking you with the Millennium Falcon. So I'm beginning to feel like that I'm kind of standing in front of the camera and gloating about what people send me, so I'm not really going to talk much about it anymore, but I did get a bunch of stickers, so let's put them up. So we got a Seattle Seahawks sticker too, and I don't, I don't know, man. There's, there's just not much real estate left on this side of the cabinet. I don't think it looks that good next to my clock either. Well, it could stick to my hat, but you know, I just, eh, not too sure. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's not gonna stick to the flag. We could put it right here, 
or or maybe even right here but honestly honestly I think it's just gonna come off on the washing machine so let's just let's just go back to the cabinet Greg also sent a really cool coin and a awesome pen. And this pen actually saved me. I, I was coming home from picking up my wife's Valentine's Day gift and I did not have a pen in my truck. And I was about to walk inside and I was freaking out because I didn't have a pen and I checked the mail on the way and this pen was in the mailbox. So I was able to write my little I love you on a paper and stuff for my wife for uh, Valentine's Day. A couple weeks ago, I mentioned that I really like geographical awesomeness. Uh, I went to the Grand Canyon. Oh, and for the record, uh, the Grand Canyon is in Arizona. It's it, see, I was thinking it was in New Mexico, right next to that oceanfront property, but apparently, you know, I, I got some things mixed up, and it it is in Arizona. It's not next to the oceanfront property in New Mexico. It is in Arizona. I'm an idiot. But anyway, uh, Bacon Soda here on YouTube, Brendan sent a really, really awesome uh, calendar, 2015 calendar, with a bunch of um, Northern Ireland coastlines. And wow, man, I, I would really, really love to see some of these. I, I just love mountains for some reason. They're just, they're just so cool. I'd be so happy if I never lived in a city again. I really like the way that this router table is working and I want to incorporate it in some next uh, in some projects going forward. So I think the next project that is going to be made with it is going to be uh, some mortise and tenon joints. I want to make a mortise and tenon frame for this boot box cabinet that's gonna go in my front, uh, front of the living room by the front door. And uh, I think it'll be fun. Probably gonna be a headache, but I think it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna use nothing but two by fours for the cabinet, hopefully. And I guess we'll go from there. So I may start uploading some quick and easy cell phone update videos on this vlog channel or whatever throughout the week. So if you guys are interested in that, that those will be up. Um, yeah, that's it. I guess I will talk to you guys later.